I'm Eki Thump and welcome back to Rising World. You join me here on the southern beach as I farm a whole bunch of sand to turn into glass panes back at our little, uh, little cottage. Because this session we're going to finish uh, filling in the windows. Then we're going to turn our attention to getting the roof done somehow. And in terms of the like the build of the house on the outside, that should be us done. Then we've got to turn our attention to getting some internal walls built. Uh, after that, and I don't think it'll be this episode, but we'll have to start thinking about farming. Because it's all very well running around like gathering apples from trees and picking up random watermelons that we happen across. But it would be nice to have actual crops just outside the door. So I'm going to have to do a bit of research into that and figure out how farming works. I'm assuming the like a, a nice patch of flat earth is involved somehow. I don't know if I need to water crops. I'm not entirely sure how I gather seeds or like plants or whatever from the wild. I think the scythe has something to do with it. But we'll see how far we get this episode. It'll probably be mostly windows and roof. Oh my god, and we're back. That sand really is a long way away. That's a good solid five minutes of running straight ahead with the shift key held down. I think whatever I build next is going to have to be a bit closer to the water. Just for the sake of getting sun more easily when we need it. Right, we're back now anyway. So let's uh, make a stack of glass panes and get to work. I don't know how many we need. Loads, probably. Is there something wrong with that window? Is there? Have I put the glass in the wrong place? I think I put the glass on the outside there. It's supposed to be there, for God's sake. We'll get to that in a minute. I've not done that anywhere else, have I? Just have to remember to take that one out. All right, there's no windows in there. That should be glass in all of them. Let's go and uh, remove that errant pane. So those two are okay. Those two are alright. It was in one of the four square ones. Here we are. It's actually quite difficult to see, but there is a yeah one floating there. Right, that should be it. I really do like this glass effect. It's so well done. Um, what else do we need? We need a back door. sure I have another door laying around somewhere that I didn't use. That might be alright as a back door. What exactly did it look like? Oh no, this was going to be one of the internal doors, wasn't it? Uh, we should make a different one. So we've got old door, we've got single door wood. That's not bad. That's a very workshoppy kind of door. Only those two, eh? Well, that's definitely a possibility. That's ID 1. Ooh. Some very fancy ones there. Nothing that really fits what we want for that space. We could have, what the fuck? We could have a slab of plywood as a door. Is there even a handle on this one? Oh, there is, yeah. <laughs> we could have a fucking prison cell. Uh, 
Only two uses I can imagine for that kind of door is a jail or some kind of dungeon. Uh, old wooden cover, no, we don't want that. Drawbridge is very specific. And we don't really want a saloon door. Now I think we want that um, it's single door ID 1. That one. Do I have 12 lumber? I only have 4. Sorry, I did get a bunch of logs on the beach as well. Look at all these fucking leftover blocks I've got laying around. I bet I never used them for anything. Press G and we want it Yeah, right there. Even comes with its own hole. Is that meant to be a keyhole? Yeah, that's a really weird large keyhole, isn't it? That's meant to be. Okay. Uh, and we need to fill in the stone space above it. Please say I have some of those, uh... oh I do actually, cobblestone blocks. Oh and there's that one right up there we need to fill in uh, with the corner bricks, I don't know if I have any of those. The, uh, is that one? I think that's the right one. Just get up here on the forge and do it. Uh, no, that's not the right one. Bollocks. Um, no, so I have none of those then. Not to worry. I'm sure we have plenty of stone. I didn't even need to farm stone this episode. Because we really didn't get through that much last time, I don't think. Stone bricks. It's uh, that one. Just one of those. right okay that's all the outside walls in place now I think the next thing is to get a roof on actually the very next thing is to eat a little bit this water bottle is actually worth more than you might think despite the fact that you get hydration from food I've uh, I've basically gone through half a bottle of water and that's the first time I've had to eat. It does last quite a while and hydration goes down much quicker than nutrition. Okay, let's think about this roof then. Obviously we want a slanted roof. Because flat roofs in a rainy climate are a huge no-no. That's the way you get to unending leaks in the roof. Um, so what sort of material do we want up there? I was thinking wood, but honestly tiles might look better. Let's go into the block bench and see what we can do. Please don't say I need some weird clay or something like that for them. Uh, oh, these no, these are floor tiles. They're not roof tiles, are they? 
uh, stone tiles. No, they're not right. What could we do with wood or... You know the kind of thing I'm thinking of, don't you? Like shingled roof tiles. <clears throat> well, this one's not too bad. I can't find one that's exactly what I'm thinking of. Because um, it's supposed to be... Like a lot of square tiles, but sort of overlapping each other in a sort of regular pattern. There doesn't seem to be one. I mean, there's tile patterns, but they're all geared towards like floor tiles and mosaics and stuff. It's a surprising omission. You'd think that'd be one of the first things they'd think to put in. It would be some kind of roof tile. But never mind. Um, so that'll be ID 118. Um, or will it? I mean, it's not a great colour. It doesn't go very well with what we've built. I mean we could go with bricks which is a decent colour but I don't like the mortar in them for the roof. Or there's that one but it's that would make the house very monochrome then and I want a kind of earth tone roof. So we've got the choice of wrong colour wrong colour or wrong pattern. I'm trying to think which which would look the least bad on the roof. It's probably this one. Okay, so that's one one nine. Now then, what we could also do is have something like wooden rafters. Uh, going across. We could even have a, like an attic space if we take the roof up high enough. If we do a high enough slant on it. I kind of like the idea of that. Yeah, okay. Um, right, let's think about the pattern of blocks we're going to need. Probably a layer of brick. Like a square layer of brick. And then, well, it'll be kind of like something I've done in Imperion with, like, um, a square layer of, bl of brick. And then on two of the faces, like, slanty bits. Let's just make a few and test out how it looks. So if we make, um... Hold on, give me uh, some squares. And some slopes. Uh, where did I put the scaffolding? Where's that? It's around there. So, square block there. Ooh, this is very, very tricky. Um, There's a slanty bit there. And there. Square there. Slanty bit there and there. The 
patterns don't quite line up. But, see, that join there is going to be hidden anyway, isn't it? We're not going to see that, so it doesn't matter too much that that part doesn't line up. It's mostly... Well, it's only really this face that's going to be visible. Yeah, okay, we can do that. Um, if we're going to have rafters... Uh, are we going to have rafters? Or are we going to have... Well, no, we could have a, the second floor can extend out from... Um, let me just hop back down again. Death, ow. Um, the second floor can extend out from... Here. That's plenty high enough. Well, maybe those blocks could be half thickness, actually, when we make them. Just to give a little bit of clearance above the windows. So they'd be like half thick, flipped upside down, so they'd be like half a block of clearance above the windows. Just uh, looking at the actual windows in my flat, that's probably about right. I don't want them going straight up to the ceiling. Alright, one thing I do want to do then is make a whole bunch of scaffolding. Let's have a look at how this connects on. Yeah, it's absolutely fine to do that. Okay, now, because we have to make the shaped blocks individually, how many outside corners do we have per layer? One, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, I think it's ten per layer. If I were to make a stack of outside corners and half a stack of inside corners, I don't think many of them would go to waste, so let's do that. So when I say outside and inside corners, that's what I think of as an inside corner, like with it um, coming in at right angles, going out at right angles. So if I were to make 32 of those, yeah, inner corner, that's what it's called. Um, and where are the outer corners? Is it that one? I think so. Well, why don't we just make one just to see what it's called.
ramp corner. Is there another one or is it, are they all? That's a pyramid top. Inner corner. That's uh, some kind of slope. Yeah, ramp corner. It must be that one. That's the only like, corner available. Okay, we'll get a whole layer of this stuff on. Make sure it's all working as planned. Now there needs to be a corner there, doesn't there? So we won't put that bit on. Right, let's try out these corner pieces then. So this needs to be the so-called ramp corner here, if this is right. Uh, looks good to me. Yep, looks good to me. And then this would be a slope. Then a ramp corner here. Perfect. All right, looks like everything's working as intended. And the scaffold's wide enough that we can actually get around and do that. Brilliant. Right, let's make let's actually go and make a bunch more scaffolding now then. make it much easier to get this first layer on. This is fine. I mean, there's no space for guttering, but that's a bit too much immersion. We don't need to worry about guttering. I need a... Uh, that's a point. I need some kind of corner scaffold, don't I? I hope it's these small ones. Does that snap on there? Ah yeah, that's perfect. That's what we wanted. All right, let me make something like a, I don't know, a three to one ratio of large to small scaffolds. It'll work out somehow, I'm sure. He's only stacking eights. I guess that's how they simulate the fact that they're massive. Son of a bitch. Uh, how do I get it to snap on at this angle? Look, it only go that way around. I want it to snap like that. Maybe I can do it from up there. No, it wants to do it like that. It's not going to let me snap it on sideways. Motherfucker, I didn't think about that. What about a small one? 
That's alright like that. But then, if, yeah, if I try and go back to the big ones, it, it immediately wants to snap it on that way. I think this needs to be looked at. This is trickier than it should be. I'm sure I can snap on it, scaffolding going out that way. But see, no matter which way I'm facing it, it always goes on the same. Uh, same direction. I think it's trying to guess which way I want to do it and it's getting it wrong and then not letting me correct it. Alright, well let's take the easy way out and just disassemble and rebuild the scaffold where we need it rather than trying to build a scaffold around the whole house. Uh, that seems to be the best thing to do. So at least I should be able to put it on this way. I am almost tempted to just say fuck it and fly, but I really want to... As I've said before, that doesn't feel legit to me. Like that feels like a... A sort of chewing gum patch until they figure out better systems for things. So... I'm going to avoid it if we can. Just to explore what other options are available. Honestly, if we did it with small scaffoldings, it would probably be alright. It's just because I happen to have made a bunch of large ones now. And I don't want to go and farm the lumber to build the rest of them. So we come out to... There, and then here we have one of the uh, inner corners, uh, this one. Oh shit, no that doesn't work. That, that corner's got to be here, hasn't it? Yeah, that corner's got to go there. Let me get rid of this. And I guess that's just a regular block then. Yeah, that makes sense, because then those we'll just line this up with the uh, slants. Okay. Makes sense, makes sense. Here we've got two corners right next to each other, so I think this is going to be uh, an inner corner there and then an outer corner outside. Am I right? I am. Look at me doing basic geometry in my head. Alright, these bricks don't actually look as bad as I thought they might. The mortar does kind of bother me, but it's not awful. And at least they're the, the sort of... kind of the shade I was thinking of. Right, do you know what? Fuck it, I am going to fly down there. I'm sick of those bloody scaffolds. Uh, oh, what are we doing here? Oh, there's going to be an internal wall there, isn't there? Yeah, 
As far as the roof concerned, that's fine. That goes onward like that. Okay, right. So that's the plan for the roof. Um, and I'm probably going to have to leave this episode here because that's about all the time we've got for recording today. It may not look like we've made a lot of progress, but actually we've kind of uh, established what we're doing for the rest of the house. The only question that's left, really, in terms of the structure is what we're going to do with the internal walls. And I'm thinking some kind of wood. Just to kind of offset the stone walls and the brick roof. But we'll see. I mean, it's interesting, actually, if, if we have a look in here. Uh, and... Uh, plaster. There's some violently garish options here. Look at this. We could have purple walls, we could have yellow walls, we could have awful green or like deep blue walls. We probably won't. <laughs> it's nice to note that that's an option. Or, I mean, have a look at some of these tiles that are here. We could have a wall made out of that stuff. Or, what was it, the ornamental tiles. That. Imagine that or this as a wall material. Ugh. Um, we'll find something a bit more, um, a bit easier on the eye. Um, so I think I'll have to leave it there. I've got no materials to do any furniture today because I spent all the wood that I had gathered on um, those scaffolds. But fine, we know what we're making the roof out of. Uh, we've got all the glass in, we've got a back door on. Uh, I think we are going to go for a second floor. Don't know what we're going to do with it. Probably just put decorative stuff up there. But you never know. Anyway, that's all the time I've got for this week. So that's been Let's Play Rising World. Do hope you've enjoyed it. Like and subscribe if you'd like to see more gameplay of this game. And I'll see you next time.